What's up Madden 17 fans, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to our video. Uh, in today's content, what I want to do is, is simply share with you some tips on how to beat cover 2 in Madden NFL 17. That is the primary defense that most people will utilize uh, at the competitive level. What I'm coming to find is more and more when you watch the tournaments, when you watch the defensive breakdowns, there's really a common theme and that's that they use the cover 2 defense. Oftentimes they're going to use a very specific type of cover 2 defense and that is the cover 2 sneak or the nickel blitz 2. And what I want to do today is just simply share with you how to beat it with a couple of key concepts. To do this we're in the uh, I think we're in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. Oh, it looks like we're in the Dallas Cowboys playbook. Okay. So to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize some route combinations from the pistol bunch. And you can do it with any trips formation. It really doesn't have to be pistol bunch specifically, uh, but you can utilize pistol bunch. And really all you wanna do is you wanna look for a play similar to corner strike, Seattle, all of these things really can, can get at it. So uh, let's see here. Oh, whoops, I, I hit the wrong play. Sorry about that. Real quick, if this video provides any value whatsoever to you, uh, just do me a favor and hit and share it with somebody. You don't have to uh, share it with your entire audience on Facebook or anything, but what I always recommend is just sending a quick text to somebody and saying, hey, check this out. This video really helped me uh, tackle this specific task. So the play that we're going to utilize uh, to beat the cover two is PA pin deep. Um, actually, no, we're going to use the PA deep pin. We're going to use that one. Okay. So a couple things. First and foremost, what I think it really comes down to is a route combination. Uh, route combinations, what you want to do is you want to have a high-low type of read. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Dev Bryant on his in route. We're going to change that to a comeback route. That's going to help us if, in case we, we may read wrong and it may be a man-to-man -man coverage. So if that far left corner is in man-to-man, um, -man, Des Bryant will be wide open. The second thing that we're going to do off of this is we're going to smart route Cole Beasley's route. And the reason we're going to do that is because that's going to give us our level. What it's ho we're hoping is going to happen is it's going to pull the linebacker back off and we're going to be able to hit Terrence Williams or Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, in one of these uh, capacities. So then what we want to do is we want to take Terrence Williams and we want to put him on an in route. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And we're going to motion snap him. So we're going to uh, motion him to the right about a step and then we're going to snap the ball. Part of the reason we use play action, you don't have to, but it does do a good uh, job of, of making it even more difficult, in my opinion, for them to, to really do anything against this because the route to Terrence Williams is going to be wide open very quickly. So we're going to motion him out again and what you'll see here, we're going to run the play action. What I like to do is tap the left trigger. Whoops. Screwed it up there. What I like to do is tap the left trigger twice to uh, kind of get my quarterback in a proper stance. I've always felt like that's the best way to go about it. So again, uh, we're going to run the play action Then once we set up, we're going to hit left trigger twice to set up and then we're gonna hit uh, Terrence Williams out of the backfield. The defense is doing a pretty good job here. And you could just motion, if you wanted to, you could motion him inside. Right there is where you kinda of wanna hit him. We forgot to put Dez on his route. But there's a couple, uh, that's one thing that you can do uh, that will help you to beat this defense. Another thing that will happen is if you hit him short, hit him short, hit him short, eventually you're going to be able to throw this high pass lead up to Jason Witten and you're going to kind of sneak it in. Now you only want to do that and what will happen most of the time is they will be user controlling the middle linebacker. In that case, in the scenario that they're user controlling the middle linebacker, it makes it to where you're going to be able to hit this route a lot of times, especially if you're running. For some reason, we're having a little bit of trouble here um, hitting it. Yeah, just a couple things break down. And then again, there we went up to Jason Witten when we should have probably went down to Terrence Williams. You can leave Cole Beasley. You don't have to smart route him if you don't want to. Uh, I think it's best 
but if you wanted to kind of keep him on this short out, you might be able to even hit that. Again, that's more for like if they're blitzing you. But what will eventually happen is they will come down on Terrence Williams, and they're going to try to stop him. Uh, just like anything, once you establish one thing, I always say to have a counter off of that. And this route is going to be very difficult to stop him because, as you can see there, now, another little trick with this play, in any route where you have a deep post route like this for, for Jason Witten, what you can do is you can put Des Bryant on a quick out route, and then you can motion Jason Witten to the left side of the line of scrimmage. And this is going to create kind of a bench concept. Now, to, when I do this, I like to take the running back and put him on a check and release pattern or you know any kind of route, just you know kind of get him out of the way, whatever whatever route I think works best. And I'm gonna look quick to Des Bryant. Now again, personally, when you're facing a cover two, if you think they're running cover two, he's probably, Des Bryant's probably going to be covered, okay? So once you look to Des Bryant, then where you wanna look is to Jason Witten. So he's not covered. And you can see here, we can kind of fit this into Jason Witten. Now what's gonna happen is, that linebacker on that left side is going to have kind of kind of start to get in the way. So one way to kind of counter that is to is to drag Terrence Williams, and now it's just a couple different route combinations here. But as you'll be able to see here in a minute, you can pass lead that thing to the to the far left, and you see you can get a decent gain. Now one other thing that I want to touch on, and that's tight end streaks. So the thing with tight end streaks is it's very similar to what we're running with this deep end, uh, but very but the only real difference is you're going to put him on a streak instead of you know a post route. But what happens and what I think is really effective is a couple things. So you can put Des Bryant here. What we're going to do is just put him on a five yard in route, just a very simple little small pattern. Okay, we're going to motion motion Jason Witten to the left side and. We're going to look to him quick. Now, if they go with Jason Witten, then we know to go to Des Bryant. So basically, the read is you're going to look to the linebacker. And if that left linebacker, let's see if I can move him around here and show you who we're looking at. So the guy we're looking at is this guy right here. Now, you want to put uh, Witten on a fade. I forgot to mention that. So the reason you want to fade him is because he's going to go a little bit more into the, the tender area of the field. So if this guy right here... Okay, say he kind of does something a little different. So say he doesn't go with Jason Witten. Then we're going to high pass lead it to him, and he's going to make that little aggressive catch. This is something that you probably saw in the Madden Challenge or the Madden, whatever the Madden tournament was, the Madden Bowl, sorry. Now, then what happens is under traditional circumstances, though, they're going to follow, and you're going to be able to hit this little route to... Des Bryant. So again, that's very subtle. It's very it's a very subtle way to beat the defense. But in my opinion, this is very consistent because it's it's literally just a, a two man read. There's really not a whole lot whole lot that they can really do about it. Now, if you wanted to, one thing you can do, and we could try this out, is run a deep in route. So instead of a five yard, running a little bit deeper and low pass lead it. Well, maybe you wouldn't low pass lead. It. I thought you would, but maybe you won't just because of the um, just because of the, the the accuracy, but run that deep in because what's going to happen is, especially when you're in a balance formation. So whenever we motion Jason Witten over to the left side, he becomes in a balance formation, and you can use these smart routed in routes because that linebacker has to. Whoops! I dropped my controller. The linebacker has to follow has to follow Jason Witten. That's just kind of the rules of the defense, and so if he follows. Then you know, step up in the pocket, and you got room to hit Des Bryant. Now, if he doesn't follow, you're going to hit Jason Witten. So it's just a game of cat and mouse. It's a two-person read. My person, uh, my personal opinion on this is I like things to move quickly, just because of the pressure and things that they can do off this. So what I want to do is I want to know really quickly: Am I going to the drag or am I going to the streak? So I try to. I like to use either an in route. Or a drag route. Now, the only time I'll use a drag route is if I know it's zone. If it's if they're not running any man to man, and I know I'm going to go zone, then I know to go to Des Bryant. Now, again, this is a very subtle little bitty detail, but I think it provides a lot of value to you guys because I think this is something that a lot of people are sleeping on and not remembering. And you can do this from really any set. 
I think trips works best because you can do a couple of interesting things with route combinations, especially if they blitz you. So real quick before we get out of here, I want to share with you one other piece of information that's really important, and that's if they blitz you. So when they'll, they'll, if they blitz you, you, for example, they'll blitz from this right side, okay? And this is the blitz. This is the blitz that everybody knows. And what people will do if they're smart is they'll, they'll do something like this kind of, and they'll come into a three deep shell. Now, what happens when they blitz you is you need something to go to quickly. That's the out route to Cole Beasley on this. So just a quick little out route to Cole Beasley and you're there. Now, if we cancel the play action by putting uh, Ezekiel Elliott on either a block and release pattern or just anything, just kind of get him out of the play action animation, what will happen is you can throw it real quick, right in there, and possession catch it for a quick five yards. If they're running cover two, they can't stop it. Now, what's really interesting is is when they start running hard flats. So if they're running a traditional cover two without the cover two sync time kind of idea, this actually works even better. So we'll show you here real quick. You'll see, just throw it real quick, and you just possession catch it. It's a quick, quick seven yards. And again, this is just something very small, very subtle that you can do to help you beat the Tampa two. So there's a couple of different things that I shared today that will hopefully help you beat cover two. Uh, and so hopefully this video was helpful. But again, the only way I can help you guys is if you ask questions. So ask me questions, ask clarifying questions, what, you know, very be as specific as possible because what's going to happen is you're going to close this video down. You're going to go to your game and you're going to try this exact play and it may not work exactly the way it did in the video and then you're going to then you're going to wonder well what am i going to do to beat cover 2 my opinion and my advice would be to ask me very specific questions in the comment section because that's going to allow me to give you a very specific answer so this is just a couple of tips that i would do if i was trying to beat cover 2 hopefully it was helpful and if it was remember do me a favor